General Eisenhower, take me back there. Well, this is, uh, in 1943 we started. We started at the Pentagon, and then we moved over to uh, Bushy Park, which is outside of London, in the winter of 43. And uh, we, we worked there until the summer of, of, of 44. And then after the invasion, we put up headquarters on the Normandy Beach. And then after the uh, breakthrough, we set up the, our working shop outside of, of Paris at uh, Saint-Germain in a girls' boarding school. And that's where we stayed for the rest of the war. Tell me about that war and what you experienced with the general. What was your question? Tell me about the war and what you experienced with the general. Oh, my, uh, see, I was a meteorologist, and we were helping with the invasion forecast. And uh, there was a large group of us, there were about 22 of us. And uh, so we had uh, our shop next to his headquarters, and that was located at Bushy Park. That's where the Supreme Allied Command headquarters was located. Did you ever talk to the general? Uh, yes, yes I did. What were your exchanges? <laughs> uh, I was a captain, so it, it was a very respectful exchange. <laughs> but uh, then uh, it was very good. Uh, and so I, 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 I would see him maybe twice a week. And what did you say to him? <laughs> well, I was very respectful. and. I had to show the courtesy of command as a, a statement to the people that served for me, so it worked both ways. What does it mean to serve your country, Bob? <laughs> oh, it's very hard to put it into a few words, but it comes first, God and country. And uh, I am I, uh, very pleased for that, and I still have that fellowship from that time, such as we have here at the American Legion. So it carries through. It never leaves us. Thanks for serving our country. Thank you very much.